Hey babes, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're going to be talking about my AM and PM skincare routine for combo skin with products from Panoxyl, Province Beauty, H2O Plus, Purity Naturals and more. Whether you're new to skincare or even K-beauty, today I'll be showing you how I properly lay my skincare and incorporate K-beauty into my routine. Most of the products mentioned in this video are clean, vegan, cruelty-free, and can be used across most skin types, which I will mention as we go along these products. So if you're interested in learning more and joining the YouTube family, then please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and just keep on watching. Make your dream come true. But let me get this straight, don't ever need no to tell me what to do guys don't follow me on socials then please do so now my screen name will be in here for you also don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and share it with your friends and family comment let me know if you've tried any of the brands that I'll be mentioning in this video and also guys if you're interested in any of these products then make sure you check out my affiliate links which will all be linked down below in the description box for discounts and being transparent, since I am an affiliate, I do earn a small commission of that purchase, but it's no additional cost to you guys, so that's even better. Not all these products do have affiliate links, but some of them do, so thank you for all your support. It's all appreciated. I love you guys so much. So now let's pretty much get into it. First, we're going to start with a couple of tips um, and how to layer skincare. Then we're going to be talking about the skincare products. So feel free to skip this part if you're already a pro and you know what you're doing. You know K-Beauty and all that great stuff. So the first step will be creating a basic skincare line, but we'll get to that in a second. The other step would be make sure you're properly laying your skincare. If you don't properly lay your skincare, it isn't going to work or be as potent as it needs to be. Your products are supposed to be in thinnest to thickest form. So that would basically mean for your AM routine, you would have your basic cleanser, toner, essence, ampule, serum, eye cream, and moisturizer. It is optional to add an oil. I don't like to use oils in the morning. I'd rather use them at night. They're more beneficial. And for a PM routine, you would layer it like this. It would be your oil-based cleanser, your cleanser, your toner, essence, ampule, serum, eye cream, moisturizer, oil, lip mask, and neck cream. Also, neck cream is pretty optional. There's a few steps in here that's kind of optional. If you're trying to start off pretty basic, then I would say just go with a basic cleanser, uh, serum maybe, if you really want to get into that. Go in with a good moisturizer and a good eye cream, and you're pretty much set. But if you have more hyperpigmentation, and you have more concerns for your skin, then you should be adding some extra products in there. But it's always a trial and error. Everybody's skin type is different, so just know that. For skin that doesn't have much problems, as I said earlier, your basic skin routine, you should stick to like a three to five step routine. And then you also have your sheet masks, mud masks, your exfoliators here and there depends on your skin conditions and what you're looking for. For combo skin, oily skin, hyperpigmentation, acne, texture, and acne scarring, this is what works best for me. Your routine should be somewhere along this line if you have the same things I do. We're gonna start off with your other products. So like I said earlier, there are certain skincare products you shouldn't use every day but are still good in a routine to use once a week, twice a week, maybe three times. I might be pushing it a little bit, but again, all on your needs. Exfoliators, there's two types. There's physical and chemical. And basically what exfoliators do is they remove any dead skin cells, any dirt, helping in cell turnover and renewal for a brighter, even complexion. It also helps with Acne breakouts from clogged pores because it is clearing all that dirt and debris out. Chemical and physical exfoliants. Physical exfoliants are usually scrub forms. So stuff like coffee grinds, jojoba beads, anything of that range. 
where chemical exfoliants are more AHAs, BHAs, fruit enzymes, and that's pretty, pretty much glycolic acid, if I'm saying that correctly, salicylic acid, lactic acid, and also enzymes found in fruit and berries. Also, if you're new to skincare, please, some ingredients should not be mixed together. So I try to do a lot of research for you guys, but you know, it might be a very long video, so I can't put everything I want to in there, but there are certain ingredients you shouldn't mix together. I'll have another video for you guys. If you're interested in that, just comment and let me know. BHAs, AHAs, glycolic acid, stuff like that should not be mixed with retinol. Um, that's just one of the major things. And I say that because I do use a retinol in my night routine. So if you're going to be doing that, separate your ingredients, separate your skincare products. Make sure you have the correct ones for AM and the correct ones for PM. Certain ingredients are better for morning use rather than night use, like vitamin C. Vitamin C is really good in antioxidants. It's good for sun damage and keeping free radicals from coming into your skin and causing more damage. While other products like retinol are better to use at night because your skin is renewing, your skin is trying to repair itself while you're sleeping. So collagen, retinol, stuff like that is better to use towards that time. Since we're talking about exfoliators, this one I've just started to recently use and I really like it. I enjoy it. This is the Enzyme Excel by Pharmagel. It's made with walnut grains and papaya extract for a gentle and efficient cleanse. I have heard that nut grains are not good for skin that gets irritated fast, like sensitive skin, acne prone skin. But this has been working really well for me. I love it. And it's just, it smells amazing. The formula feels really nice on the skin. It feels almost like a lather, but it doesn't lather completely. All of the Pharmagel products I will be mentioning are spa and salon grade quality products. And this one right here is $25. Um, guys, if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at all the info. I literally have a whole list written out on these products to let you guys know about them and give you all the great info. This one is formulated for all skin types and sensitive skin. The line in general is good for anti-aging, so keep that in mind for all age groups. For a better and more thorough removal of dull and dead skin cells, it is recommended to use this with their Pharmagel Hydra Cleanse uh, cleanser. So you literally mix the two and it's supposed to help for sensitive skin, irritated skin. I haven't tried that yet, but I will be trying this cleanser out on Instagram and a couple of these other products I haven't tried yet. So stay tuned on Instagram. This can be used on the face and body and as a pre-shave treatment type of thing to remove all those dead skin cells. It's $25 and for my skin, I use it twice a week. It is also cruelty free and you should use this after cleansing. Now we're gonna talk about other ones that we don't use as much. So onto the masks. We have sheet masks, mud masks. There's a lot of masks in there. Mud masks are better for people who need to detoxify their skin from things like acne, where sheet masks are more designed for hydration purposes, although they do have some masks that have different ingredients in it to help different skin concerns. These masks can be used two, three times a week. I think some people use it more than that, but that's how I use it. I don't like to overhydrate or overdo the skincare. Most of these masks you use anywhere between 10 and 30 minutes. But with mud masks, you actually wash the product off your face, where sheet masks, you massage the product in. I'm gonna be showing you my to-go-to ones, but we're not gonna get too much into it, mainly because this video is already gonna be long. So the ones I like to use are the Avahar LED Whitening Sheet Mask. This is a cream mask. And this is K-Beauty, and it's made to brighten the skin. It's free from silicone parabens, and more and it's six dollars a piece at yes style the link down below get a discount we also like to use the premier exclusive dead sea mud mask which i'm just going to show you the texture real quick 
The Premier Exclusive Mask retails for $50 and is made with Dead Sea Mud, Aloe Vera, Jojoba Oil, and Witch Hazel. It's made to firm, tighten, and refresh the skin, and it's very effective for dehydrated areas of the face. Now we have eye patches and lip scrub products. Eye patches can be used up to two times a day, although I like to use them for my skincare Sundays. I don't need a lot of eye rejuvenation, especially because I use eye creams AM and PM. I would use them when I use my sheet masks or my mud masks. I do like to keep them nourished as this does help with aging. Dark circles and puffiness can actually be from dehydrated skin, so make sure you're keeping them hydrated. Lip scrubs, just made to remove those dead skin cells and create a more even, smoother looking lip. For the eye patches, it is K-Beauty. We are using the AZN Labs Hydro Gel Eye Patches, and this is with Astalathin. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'll have it written in here for you guys. This is $68, and it's actually 6,000 times more potent than vitamin C alone. It's good for smoothing fine lines and wrinkles and fighting environmental factors like pollution while boosting collagen production. That's what it looks like. It also brightens with niacinamide, which is vitamin B3, and licorice root extract. Now, lip scrubs nourish with good oils like this one by Laura Geller. And this is the Laura Geller Prep Stick Lip Scrub. It's $21, cruelty-free, and vegan. It's so natural, made with real sugar, that you are actually able to lick off the excess. Also paraben-free and formulated with nourishing oils like jojoba, avocado, and grapeseed oil. So I didn't realize my camera was out of focus. Sorry, guys. But um, here you go again. Now the last product we're gonna get into before we actually do and start our AM and PM routine is our oil-based cleansers. This is another optional step because not everybody likes to use oil-based cleansers. I would say they're better for removing makeup or if you're really oily skinned or acne prone like me, they're better to use at the end of the day during the night before your regular cleanser uh, to remove any excess dirt, deep down dirt, this can be a nightly step or a every other day step, but night is more beneficial for this type of thing since during the day, your skin builds up all that dirt and excess oil, sebum, all that stuff. What this oil cleanser does is it breaks down, besides the oil, dirt, and sebum, it breaks down your makeup, it breaks down SPF products, Anything that you can't fully get off with your regular basic cleanser, this will do it. So it's always important if you have a lot of reactions or breakouts um, or sensitive skin to use a oil-based moisturizer and then a cleanser at night. Again, it's not an everyday thing. You don't have to use it every day. Some skin types actually may dry out from all the extra cleansing. The one that we just started to use is the Yangle Beauty Gel to Milk Cleanser with YMB Complex. This one features natural ingredients sourced from Africa, which is gentle, non-stripping, and safe on sensitive skin. It contains YMB Complex, which has rich essential fatty acids and vitamins to moisturize, heal, and protect for radiant and beautiful skin. It's also infused with African Kalahari melon seed oil to balance moisture and sebum and help minimize pores and this is made generally for darker skin tones because they tend to have more complexion issues like hyperpigmentation but it can be used across all skin types this is thirty dollars it's cruelty free and clean meaning it's free of sulfates power bins artificial colors all that good stuff now let's go ahead and move on to our AM and PM routine. For cleansers, let's start there, guys. Um, I'm gonna have a AM routine on one side and a PM routine on the other in picture in picture so you guys can see how to apply these products, how I apply my products. So for cleansers in the morning, I use the Holy Grail cleanser 
the panoxyl acne foaming wash with benzoyl peroxide 10 percent this hits at a heavy dose of 10 percent which may not be great for sensitive skin so if you are new to benzoyl peroxide start with a low dose start with something with two or four percent and then go up from there if you need more another brand that i like that does benzoyl peroxide cleansers is dr zenovia they also have a range 2%, I believe, 4% and 10%. Dr. Zenovia one is more like a gel-like consistency, where this is more of like a cream-like consistency. I should mention though that the Panoxyl does bleach. So it will bleach your towels if you don't take it off completely. And even if you think you do, it might just bleach it anyway. So besides that, it's a really good product though. It works for me and my skin type, and it doesn't dry my skin out. Basically, what benzoyl peroxide does is it's made to unclog pores, clear and prevent any new breakouts from forming, and kill acne-causing bacteria. The Panoxyl one is clean, formulated, dermatologist-tested, and non-comedogenic. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Basically, it won't clog your pores, and it's around $10 usually, depending where you get it. For night use, I use the Provence Beauty Collagen Rejuvenating Cleansing Gel. This is for all skin types. It's 100% natural, 100% vegan, paraben-free, sulfate-free, petroleum-free, formalohyde-free, <laughs> and cruelty-free. Collagen is better used at night because your skin repairs itself at night, as I've said earlier, so it'll rejuvenate. This can be used a.m. and p.m. It's best suited for normal to oily skin, and if I'm double cleansing, I'll use this after as well. This one is $12.99 on Province Beauty's official website. And then as I told you guys earlier, I'm going to be trying out the Hydra Cleanse soon from Pharmagel. Stay tuned on my socials for that one. And this one's formulated for all skin types, no parabens, and can be used AM and PM. And this one is $32. Now we're going to get into our toners. So toners, a lot of people don't know this. Same thing with serums. You can use more than one. I wouldn't overdo it because other ingredients in those toners or serums may affect the quality overall of the other ones you're putting on. Also, your skin might not be able to handle that much. Try to stick to the maximum three toners, maybe three serums. So the one I've just started using is the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Toning Toner made with pure centella from Madagascar. This is such a gorgeous bottle. I love it. I love it. Skin 1004 actually means skin angel in Korean. It's a K-beauty product. This is great for acne or oily skin. It's made to gently calm and exfoliate and is hypoallergenic. Centella extract is great on sensitive skin and keeps skin healthy and bright. This is $20 on guest style and the jumbo size is $34. Apply this with a cotton pad and let it absorb into the skin. It is for all skin types and is cruelty free and vegan. The second toner I use is the Provence Beauty Hyaluronic Acid and Witch Hazel Hydrating Toner Mist. This is again formulated for all skin types, vegan, cruelty free, 100% natural, paraben free, sulfate free, all that good stuff. You apply this to the skin, you pat it in, it's used to balance the skin while soothing and protecting the moisture in it. I used both of these toners day and night and for the skin 1004 toner you should use a cotton ball and then wipe it on your face because it's not a spray bottle it's just a regular drop bottle essences are next essences are a two-in-one product they are basically a toner and essence in one. They're usually a little bit thicker in consistency. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but it's a little bit thicker. It's lotion-like. Also, K-Beauty. This is the Rovectin Skin Essentials Activating Treatment Lotion Advanced Formula. It is cruelty-free, and this is the limited edition bottle, which comes with a little cat on it, but you can choose, I believe, from five different ones on Yes Style site. I put the limited edition ones with animals to show you what brands usually test on when they're testing on animals. So it's a really good awareness type of product that you can still use for your skin. 
It creates a better absorption, almost like a primer for all those other products that you're about to put on. And it's formulated as a pre-serum treatment, basically. And because it's hypoallergenic, it's safe on sensitive skin. I would say it's better for those with drier skin types, although as a combo girl, more on the oily side, this has been working really good for me. And it's made with seven types of hyaluronic acid and is made to soothe the skin and moisturize it. You can apply this with a cotton pad or right directly in your hand because it's one of those tops again. I also use this AM and PM and it's $25. Again, discount below. There is also a mini option on guest style site for $17. Now we're going to get into the ampule. Ampules are usually a little bit more thicker than essences. And an ampule is basically a high concentration of specific ingredients, almost like a serum, just a lot more potent. It boosts your skin quickly to address your skin concerns even faster. One I'm using is K-Beauty. It goes along with the toner. This is the Madagascar Centella Ampule by Skin1004. And this is $17 at Yes Style. It's made to moisturize, soothe, and strengthen the skin barrier while repairing damaged skin with its water oil balance. It's suitable for all skin types and penetrates deep for a better moisturized complexion. Apply a few drops of this onto the skin and massage in. And just to show you a little bit texture. See, it's a little thicker, but not too thick. My next step usually after this is to use a salicylic acid treatment or some type of acne treatment. My first one I ever used was by Is Dream Skincare and I absolutely loved it. It was made with 2% salicylic acid and it is $16 on their official site. It's a mild ingredient that can be used on sensitive skin and across all skin types. It's also formulated with hyaluronic acid for moisture concerns and allotonin for anti-aging. 95% organic, cruelty-free, vegan. You can use this with a cotton pad or squirt a few drops onto the skin and just massage it in. The acne treatment I'm currently using is this one right here. And this one is a bit pricey, guys. Again, you don't have to buy it. This one I actually got as a sample, so... Just let it be known there. But this one is $166. Now this is the deluxe sample size at 15 milliliters. The full size is 30 milliliters. So you're getting double the bottle for $166. I still think that's a little pricey, but it works. So yeah, if you have the money, go ahead. And this one is the Skin SkinCeuticals, if I'm saying this correctly, Silly Marion. CF salicylic acne treatment. It's a high potent combination antioxidant with 0.5% silymarin, 15% L-absorbic acid, and 0.5% ferlic acid. It's used to reduce oiliness, improve fine lines and wrinkles, improve skin tone and uneven skin texture, and provide advanced antioxidant protection from environmental stress. It's a vitamin C serum containing milk thistle extract, as well as the other ones I mentioned. All you do with this is you apply a few drops onto your skin and pat in gently. This is how it looks. This one's very, very water-like. Now, getting on to serums. For AM use, I like to use a regular vitamin C serum. So I have a few one of them I haven't touched yet, but I'm going to be using as soon as my other products are done. And that one is the Provence Beauty Vitamin C Glow Day Serum, which looks like this. But the main ones we're going to be talking about are these. We have our True Skin Serum, Vitamin C, Vitamin E, and Hyaluronic Acid. It's good for dehydrated skin, hyperpigmentation, dullness, aging concerns, and environmental factors like air pollution and UV rays from the sun. This one is $36, and this is the 2-ounce one. You can also get the 1-ounce one, which is about half the size of this bottle, for $21. This is cruelty-free, vegan, sulfate-free, paraben-free. And then the other one I am using that I like to use is the Neostrata Enlighten Illuminating Serum, which looks like this. 
This one is made for uneven skin tone, discoloration due to aging and sun exposure. It's normally $82 on Neil Strata's official website and contains vitamin B3 or better yet known as niacinamide. Sadly, it is not cruelty-free. Neil Strata is not a cruelty-free certified brand, but let's hope they change that down the line. Now for PM, I like to use two serums. H2O Plus Hydration Sensitive Milk Serum. This is specifically formulated for sensitive skin. It's truly perfect for all skin types, and again, mainly sensitive ones. You can use this AM and PM. Just add a few pumps onto your skin or into your hand and pat in until fully absorbed. It retails for $54 and is made with hyssop and eyebright extracts to reduce redness and comfort dry and reactive skin types while hydrating. H2O brand is clean, meaning free of sulfates, parabens, mineral oil, and so much more under the European regulations. It is cruelty free and the packaging is recyclable. And the second serum we use is the Is Dream Retinol Facial Serum with vitamins A, C, and E. It's a high potency serum to firm and tone and smooth fine lines. It is 72% organic retinol. And this is double size clinical strength retinol. If you're new to retinol, apply this after your moisturizer so it doesn't break you out or irritate you in any way. And then once you build up a little bit of immunity to it, you can start adding it under your moisturizer. And first starting off, don't use a lot and don't use it every day. I would say use it maybe twice a week, then go into three times, four times, and so on and so on. Retinol can move through moisturizer, but not oil. So whatever you do, do not apply this after your oil. Do it before. Retinol has actually shown to improve acne conditions as well. And the one I just showed you guys is $16 on Is Dream's official website. It's also made to improve dark spots, redness, sunburn, and flaky skin complexions. Vegan, cruelty-free, and no artificial colors or fragrances. From here, you can go in with your eye creams. Now, one of these eye creams I actually cannot talk about because it doesn't launch worldwide until the 17th. Well, until the 19th, but we can talk about it on the 17th. So, stay tuned on Instagram. It's also a serum from a well-known uh, person, I should say. So, I do have an AM and PM night cream, although they can both be used for AM and PM. The morning one I like to use is the H2O Hydration Age Renew Eye Cream. It's $50, clean, cruelty-free, and recyclable. It reduces fine lines, wrinkles, and dark circles. And another one that I really enjoy using is the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. It's more of a richer formula, and it's $32 for the small size and $50 for the full size at Ulta. The brand is not certified cruelty free, sadly. And it's made with shea butter to combat skin dehydration. So we're almost done, guys. Just bear with me here. But now we are on to our moisturizers. I have quite a few that are good for AM and PM, but let's start with our AM one. And mainly... I like to use this one because I do use retinol at night. And when you use retinol, you should use a SPF in the morning. So I do use the Olay Regenerous Whip with Sunscreen SPF 25. It's originally $40, but it is on sale for $30 right now. And it's made with vitamin B3 to help hydrate and help the cell regeneration. It also exfoliates to remove any dull and dead skin and provide a firmer, smoother looking skin. It's also made with active rush technology, which means when applied, this turns from a cream formula to a liquid formula. This is pretty much perfect for normal combo skin and oily skin. Olay is not 100% vegan or cruelty free, although I wish it was because I love Olay. These are more perfect for any time of the day. These are the H2O Plus Hydration Oasis Refreshing Gel Moisturizer. Q 
Heels Pure Vitality Skin Renewing Cream. Well, since we've pretty much already talked about the brands of these products, I'm not going to mention if they're cruelty free or not. The H2O Plus one is better suited for oily skin because it is a gel type of moisturizer. While the Kiehl's is probably better for dry skin and the Olay is better for just the overall range of skin types. The H2O skincare retails for $42 and was built to boost the skin's renewal process and increase hydration to improve plumpness, texture, and complexion. It's also made with mini hyaluronic acid. The Kiehl's Skin Renewal one I like to use when I need a little bit of extra hydration, maybe when I'm double cleansing. It's $65 at Ulta and it's very sanitary because it does come with this little top. You push this down and up and it dispenses your product. It's formulated with 99.6 naturally derived ingredients and helps strengthen the skin barrier, creating a beautiful glow and revitalizing damaged skin. Now our Olay one is $33. And it's on sale for $26 right now on Olay's official website. And this is formulated with vitamin B3, anti-aging. It also has a super hydrating formula, perfect for sensitive skin and all skin types. It plumps skin with its amino peptide complex and penetrates up to 10 layers to help cell regeneration. This moisturizer I did recently just get, again by Pharmagel and Beauty Tap. And I'm going to be trying this out soon. I haven't touched this one yet, so I'm not really going to say much about it. But this is the DN24 Hydro Cream for normal to oily skin types. And it's suitable for AM and PM use. It's made with safflower, sesame seed, avocado oils to restore skin's healthy glow. This is a retinol moisturizer, which helps improve skin to make it more youthful. $26 and on sale for $22 right now on their official site. There's one more I want to talk about, but this one's mainly for night use. This is the Yango Beauty Finishing Night Cream with YMB Complex. I've used this for around a week now, and I am obsessed. This is one of my favorite moisturizers. It's so thick. I mean, look, it's not even coming out the jar. It's so thick and creamy and lightweight, and it's so breathable. And again, Yango Beauty is the one where most of their ingredients come from Africa. So everything's really natural and good for your skin. This is made with YMB Complex and is $65 on the official site. A little goes a long way, so $65 is a great value. It's a rich emollient cream, gives intense hydration and essential fatty acids to aid in repair overnight. There's also mangongo oil to help restore skin's balance from environmental factors. All right, guys, we're getting towards the end. No worries. We are on to our last few products, which are lip masks and firming creams, neck firming creams and oils. I almost forgot. Facial oils are basically here to seal in all that skincare and provide a barrier from any ingredients getting out or anything bad coming in. A lot of people like to use oils at night because... I said it is a oil. Nobody wants to be too greasy during the day. Now, neck creams are good for anti-aging and wrinkles. The neck cream I use is Neostrata's Firming Skin Active Triple Firming Neck Cream. It has a little pump top. And this is made for crepey skin texture, wrinkles, and lack of firmness, uneven tone on the decollegette and neck area. This one is $88. It's $66 on sale on their official site. And the other one I like to use is the Youth Neck Firming Cream with Green Tea, Argrilla Line, and Vitamin C. It's $26 on their official site. And Youth is Toxic 12 Free, safe for all skin types. It's also clean and cruelty free with no sulfates, power bins, and more. For the oil, I like to use the Provence Beauty 24K Gold Beauty Oil. This also has rosehip oil in it. It is $12.99 on their official site, and it's rich in antioxidants and essential fatty acids. Gold is actually made to make the skin more radiant and glowy, while rosehip reduces signs of aging, balances complexion, hydrates, and stimulates collagen production. Gold is also good for acne, inflammation, redness, wrinkles, and sun damage. All you have to do is take the dropper, 
squeeze some on just a couple drops is fine and massage it in now we're finally down to the last product guys the last product i like to use in my skincare routine to finish off the night is the purity naturals collagen lip mask it's this little tiny tube right here and this is good honestly after a lip scrub to nourish and hydrate deeply it's made to soften and renew the lips making them more plump and it's cruelty free and made with squalene and shea butter as well it's 27 dollars on their official site and you don't necessarily have to use this at night you can use this during the day I found that it helps with really dry skin. Yeah, guys, I, I hope you loved this video and enjoyed it. I know that was a lot of talking, a lot of information to take in. Feel free to save the video in your playlist. But that is pretty much the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed all these K-Beauty products and regular products. And again, let me know in the comments which one was your favorite, which ones you want to try. Also, discounts linked down below if you guys want to purchase any of this fine stuff over here that is pretty much it for today again please follow me on socials if you haven't yet don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any exciting informational new videos like this one share it so i will see you here as always next thursday at 11 a.m and you guys as always stay beautifully awesome i love you